So this idea came out of, uh, I hold the uh, chair position for USA Wrestling for the university and UWW junior age group and university coaches. Uh, we really only have one event on the USA Wrestling calendar for university age. And so we communicated with each other and, and the idea was floated, what if we did a dual format uh, that helped feed into the University Nationals, which we have in two weeks, which is gonna be the World Team Trials for University Age Group. And so that idea, uh, I brought that idea to Wrestlers in Business here in Washington, D.C. and uh, we turned it into a real event uh, over this past year. So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty happy with the result. So Friday night, weigh-ins, one day weigh-ins, you know, the night before, and you had the career field, right? right? How, many, how many organizations came out for that? So I, uh, off the top of my head, I think we were at 25 companies, nationally represented companies that came to the career day. Um, wrestlers in business did an excellent job. Every team that was coming to this event, your roster of athletes were able to get, uh, we made little business cards for them, so when they went into this career day, they could communicate with these companies that could potentially lead to maybe an internship, maybe a job interview, or maybe it's just experience for these guys what professional networking is gonna be like. Uh, and Wrestlers in Business took that idea and really pushed it forward. The career day was open to everybody, but I feel like they, our wrestlers that were here really got a great experience from it. Yeah. Um, big, you know, historic career for you of freestyle and folk style. You, know, you had huge success as an athlete, as a coach. What about Greco appeal to you because you were one of five teams that double duty for the weekend? Yeah. Uh, well, growing up, uh, where I grew up, you didn't have an option. Right? So from the time I was, what, first freestyle event was maybe eight or nine years old, it was just ingrained in me that when you go to the weekend tournament, you wrestle Greco, then you wrestle freestyle. I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania. So that's that was really just how it was for me. Well, fast forward to this point in time, the philosophy for me, why did we take part in it? To me, it's very simple. Uh, number one, our country needs more Greco development. Matt Lindlin is not gonna build USA back into a world power Greco if we're not getting our younger ages out there on the mat to do it. So uh, we decided to do it. And for my guys, it's very, um, I feel it's very necessary for them to get in Greco matches, even if they don't have an experience. Get out there and feel it because Greco teaches you position, teaches you body awareness, things that we may never go over in folk style come glaring through in Greco. Right. So kind of, uh, you know, what do you think is missing for coaches to to help teach Greco Roman? Like, where's the where's the the gap? The gap is fear. The gap, in my opinion, the gap is fear. So many coaches have not wrestled Greco coach Greco and understand Greco. So we see it as this foreign element, right? That we just don't see a use for it. But again, it goes, for me, it goes back to where I'm from and how I was kind of brought up through the sport of wrestling. Greco is as integral as freestyle, as his folk style, right? You, you got three distinct styles and you should try and master each. By trying to master each, it makes you a, a more whole wrestler. And so, I think in the United States as a whole, we have, we've got to make sure that we are challenging our, our youth, we're challenging our high school, our college wrestlers to get out here and try it. You know, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You might lose a match. You might learn something in the process, right? And if that makes you a better athlete, uh, as coaches, if we pick something up from it, I, even today, I've got experience with this, but I go back through it, it's great, it's a refresher. It reinforces what we need to do with gut wrenches. It reinforces how we need to defend on our feet with body position, head position. There's so much good that comes out. What are your aspirations for this tournament next year? Uh, well, as my role for USA Wrestling in the chair position, I, I just want to see this thing grow. I, I feel like it's got a ton of potential that as a, US, as a fan of wrestling in the United States, uh, when I look at our Olympic level, um, we, if we want medals at the Olympics, we've got to have events like this going on that we can feed USA Wrestling the next generation, right? We can't just say to USA Wrestling, well, you're a, your own separate entity or your national governing body. You go develop freestyle and Greco wrestlers on your own. I feel like that's a responsibility we have to take on as coaches for the culture of the sport 
uh, to develop and then hand these guys off to USA Wrestling so we can get world champions, we can get Olympians, right? If there's no feeder program, when the Olympics comes, we can't just put our hands up and say, well, I don't know why we're not winning, right? We have to take that upon ourselves and say, we're gonna develop our young men and women so that we can hand them off to USA Wrestling and then they turn them into world champions. Right. Anything else to add, Coach? No, I just, I'm so appreciative for everything that, that you guys do, uh, helping us. Look, this event was not one or two people. This was a mass. This was a lot of people that all worked together to do so many things. Wrestlers in business really spearheaded that and got the mats here. We got great officials that showed up to help put this event on. The coaches bought in and brought teams, you know, 22 teams showing up yesterday. Absolutely phenomenal for a first year event. I'm just very appreciative of the way things turned out and I'm excited for what the future will be. All right, Coach, thanks for having us. It's been a great time.